What is going on guys, Eddie of Fliptronics. I'm gonna be going over five of the best crypto wallets for beginners to be using in 2021 and beyond. Now I'm gonna pull up my account on each one of these. If you wanna check any of them out, I'll throw some bonus and sign up links in both the description and comments. But I gotta start things off here with Coinbase. Now I've been using Coinbase for like seven years, which is crazy. You know, in this last year, I was actually able to grow my account from 10K to over 100K, which, you know, I feel really good about obviously but you can buy sell and trade and invest in over 40 different coins on here um you can also pull up price histories set up recurring deposits for individual coins and the other thing too about using coinbase is i mean they've got like that built-in trust factor you know with so many members worldwide and honestly um i do think it's a good wallet in exchange to you know be buying selling and trading some crypto okay then we've got binance us now i've been using binance for like three years they switched over to a binance um us only app and platform so that's what we've got here now i don't have as much money in here i've got around like two thousand bucks i own some ethereum on here right now but the nice thing about using this is that it's great for trading purposes so they've got some really low fees on here you know anywhere from like 0.1 to 0.5 percent for buying and selling the layout's very nice as well for pulling up price histories on like a one minute time frame a five minute and of course you got the buying and selling which is also very easy to do you've got the you know trade orders histories which is cool as well um and this is another one that's very easy to use it's very user friendly and you know i feel comfortable leaving some money in there Okay, and then we've got the Coinbase Pro app. So if you sign up at Coinbase, you're automatically enrolled into Pro, which is kind of like more of their trading app. So you, if you want to like trade and not like long-term hold some coins, you could obviously do that on here. I've got some money in Bitcoin Cash right now, like around 11,000 bucks. Um, but kind of similar to Binance US with how it looks, you can pull up some of the different price histories based on short time frames. You know, the buying and selling is very easy to do. And, uh, you know, they've got stop loss fees features on here it's also very easy to use and you've got the same coins on here as on coinbase um you know exactly those same 40 plus coins you can buy sell and trade okay so the next one we've got here is going to be Robinhood. now Robinhood's interesting because technically it's not a bitcoin wallet or a crypto wallet however you can buy some different cryptos on here um, and trade them and you could even invest in them and hold on to them if you want, right? Uh, the thing about buying crypto on Robinhood is that you don't actually own the coins. They're only like, so I mean, you can't like send Bitcoin to people or buy things with Bitcoin from Robinhood. However, if you use Robinhood right, and you can see I bought like some Bitcoin cash on here, 39,000 worth of it, you can actually borrow money on Robinhood at a really low interest rate, which is interesting. I'm not going to get into that too much. Uh, you also have the stock trading on there. So I mean, it's kind of a win-win for Robinhood, but you only have seven coins you can buy sell and trade okay the last one we've got here is eToro crypto you know i've been using this for like six or seven months um originally i bought tron and xrp but they delisted xrp so i only have tron you can see I, the percent that i'm up on tron is really good i'm really happy about that we've kind of seen this coin just pop off for whatever reason but um this is a social trading app so i mean you can actually like make friends with people here they've got built-in communities you can uh you know you just chime in with people talk uh you know kind of just get feedback on different coins it's cool i've actually made some friends here as well since i've been a member and you can do some basic things like pull up the charts uh you know and um check out the candlesticks things like that pretty basic stuff but yeah buying and selling is easy on here um the fees are pretty comparable to using like the regular coinbase and uh yeah i think it's a, a very cool app for sure okay now that we've kind of talked about some of the different wallets you could be using i do want to go over three coins i'd recommend this isn't really financial advice but you know if i've got my own coins that are good to get so the first one i want to talk about is going to be cardano i think cardano honestly even at its price um, it recently broke its all-time high, but I think it's got a lot more room to go up. So I do think Cardano would be a good one to get in at around the price of, you know, $1.10 to even like a, under $1.30. Um, and then, of course, the next coin I want to talk about is going to be, um, you know, Bitcoin Cash. So I own a lot of this. I actually own over $50,000 worth of this Bitcoin Cash. Um, and I think it's super undervalued on its price. Uh, you know, back when Bitcoin was around 20,000, this coin was at its all time high around 4,000. We've got Bitcoin, you know, at about 60K, and this is trading for about 500 bucks. So I do think Bitcoin Cash is super undervalued. And I also like Tron. Um, Tron is a top 20 crypto. 
And, um, you know, I got on it at pretty low, but I think it's got a lot more room to go up. And who knows? Maybe this thing hits a dollar at some point, right? But anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, if you want to check out any of these wallets, apps, exchanges, I'll throw some bonus and sign up links in both the description and comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.